Вітаю, пані та панове! This is Ukrainian Spirit, and today we are in the beautiful Lofoten Islands in northern Norway. It's almost the Arctic Circle. It's not that cold, actually, because of the Gulf Stream, so it's somewhat around plus three, but it's still a little bit cold, so I brought something with me to make this evening a little bit better and warmer. So this is a Voyevodka brand. I've told everything about it in our previous installments and you can check them out in the link out. But now we have tried so far two Christmas drinks, which was pear, smoked pear, and also three citruses. But we also have three more here. This one is egg liquor, and it should be enjoyed really inside. So it leaves us with a cherry, with sour cherry, and blackcurrant. So let's find out more about this one, which is black current. So black current. Oh, you know, I love those kind of drinks, and we have already enjoyed quite a few of those in our series. It's really nice with champagne, with sparkling wine, with any wine, but also really nice to enjoy on its own. Boy Vodka brand, as I told previously, is a brand founded by a Russian journalist who moved to Ukraine in 2014. And he created this brand, uh, Voye Vodka, which basically means a play of words like General's Vodka, or General's Spirit. So, ah, like our previous uh, Blackcurrant installments, this one is really, really fruity. I blame it all on Magnificent Ukrainian blackcurrants. It's one of the things that we grow up with. Uh, blackcurrant and uh, regular currant. They're, they are everywhere. Like every summer you have buckets and buckets, loads of currants uh, that you have to eat them all or make a jam <laughs> or make alcohol. Ah, so this one, it smells sweet. The viscosity of this drink Apparently, it's not uh, too high, so it means uh, not a lot of sugar, but it smells really sweet. Um, there is a hint of blackcurrant leaf or blackcurrant bud, almost like in other drinks uh, we had so far. But uh, here, it's sour sweet, so it smells a little bit more sweet than the, the other ones. I'm not sure why is it, but it also quite cold outside, so I might be completely wrong because my senses just uh, fail me in this weather. So let's taste it right away. Hmm, surprisingly, it's much more tart. It's more sour than I have anticipated. It smells so sweet, but it's not that sweet. Basically, it's almost like uh, the amount of sweetness you get from the berry, from the currants themselves. It's definitely tart, so it uh, resembles uh, the actual black currant much more than the other things I tried. Especially if you compare it to the French ones, Dijon Crème de Cassis, they make it really sweet and it's pleasant, especially when you mix it with wine. But it some kind of it kind of masks the actual taste of the fruit. Here. It's much more tart, it's much more uh, sour, and it's much more fruity. Uh, so there is not much else, not much more sugar in this one. But it smells really sweet, almost like the French ones. So this is very interesting. Yeah, not much complexity to it. It's sour, it's a little bit sweet, it's tart, it has this blackcurrant aroma, blackcurrant leaf, at least in cold climate, like I'm right now. It doesn't strike me like something really unique and complex, but it's nice and I really like it. So this was uh, blackcurrant and next one is gonna be sour cherry. Bear with me for a second. So here we are, I have rinsed my glass, it's clean and I have another one in my hand, which is a sour cherry from the same brand, Voye Vodka made by Anton Petrov from uh, Kyiv, <laughs> formerly from Russia. The cherry one, we also had quite a few. <laughs> you know, this is a staple liqueur in Ukrainian culture, 
Cherry is everywhere, our national poet, Ukrainian Robert Burns, <laughs> you can say of him, Taras Shevchenko, which is the most famous Ukrainian in the world. Apparently has the most amount of sculptures devoted to him in the world. So everywhere Ukrainians go, they have Taras Shevchenko on a wall as a sculpture, <laughs> or at least in their hearts, because Taras Shevchenko wrote a lot of uh, Ukrainian independence movement. And he also wrote famous words about cherry blossom uh, gardens, <laughs> bees <laughs> buzzing around. So this idea of Ukrainian paradise, <laughs> so to say. Okay, uh, this one smells really, really close to the previous ones I have tried. It smells uh, slightly of uh, cherry pit, cherry stone, uh, which reminds a little bit of almonds. So it's like amaretto, uh, Italian almond liqueur. It's sweet, it's very intense, it smells of uh, Christmas cookies, it smells of uh, warmth and um, summer. Underneath all of that is a slight hint of cherry sourness, but um, at least right now in the cold climate, it's hard to identify it strongly. This one is much more like drinking pure cherry juice. When you make, uh, we have this Ukrainian dumplings, which we call vareniki, and uh, one of the famous or popular variations of vareniki is vareniki is vishnayu, dumplings with cherry, and uh, you usually put some cherries and you allow them to drain. All children love to drink the juices from uh, cherries that uh, you get in the bowl in the end, and this one tastes almost like uh, what we get in vareniki. So, you, we add a little bit of sugar to it to make uh, the juices flow uh, better and also to improve the taste of cherries because cherries are quite sour. So this is what I get here. Uh, it's very sour, but it's somewhat balanced with uh, sweetness with sugar, but it's quite raw, you know? There is no sophistication to it. It's cherry juice and it's sour and sweet simultaneously. And it, personally, it makes me really happy because it reminds me of my childhood. And the smell is amazing. And again, like we had with the previous one, with the um, blackcurrant one, the smell much sweeter than it is in reality. And so far, in all of uh, the drinks I tried from Ukrainian producers, there is no overwhelming sweetness, no overwhelming, you know, childish aromas or tastes. They are a little bit raw, a little bit real. And this is what I've been lacking in the producers of international drinks, because they try to appeal to as wide an audience as possible, and maybe to a slightly different tastes. Uh, this one appeals to me as uh, a Ukrainian, because it just makes the things taste and smell as good as they are in reality. Do not try to improve uh, the nature, just take what it gives us and preserve it. So I'll leave you with that. Uh, as usual, cheers, Budma! <laughs> <laughs>